beautiful day today in San Luis Obispo County. Trevor is cleaning out the van. It's a standard mission. Devin is smacking his fingers with the tape measure. All right, we're starting to lay this out. Kitchen sink. Got the walls, there's a lavatory right there. Got a washer box over here. It goes in this wall. It's kind of weird. I've been finding out that um, I've been finding out that I'm not having room in the back of my washer for the washer boxes because they're putting in this new kind of um, connection for the dryer vent, and it's what it's doing is taking up all my room. So I've been trying to go up on the side wall and then trap arm over and just put my, my box in that area. I'll show you in a clip, but I don't know if you guys are finding that issue now. Okay, so, and then this is a shower over here. And that is the center of the water closet right on the window. W for window. So here we go. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, we are so glad we don't have to dig this. We use that thing. I got my Vivor. My Vivor. And I got a clay shovel. And it works fantastic. We love it. And it was super cheap. Not thousands of dollars. I didn't know if this was even... What was this? A hundred and some bucks? And that spade was like... $40 is crazy. All right, we're going to try these new things. Here, Trevor. One hit, one hit, see if it goes on. Yep, she's on. That's how you got to do it. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll find out. <laughs> they claim they're slip on. We'll see. We're going to have a beautiful we'll See sound. if they hold. All right. We finished, it took all of us to do it. Trevor the Extraordinaire with the insulation. Nobody likes doing that, but it has to be done. Looks good for my house. Three inch goes along. This is two inch, this goes to washer box. I put it in this wall this way, yeah, I'll explain later. Okay, that's the vent. Also, this is called a wet vent. <clears throat> so this is a wet vent. This here is a three inch and it continues on and it goes out and that's a clean out. And service guys love that because they don't have to come in the house then. Granted, if there is a clog, it's usually between here and the throne. But this is great because they can send the snake right through the whole place, right out, all the way to the sewer. And then there'll be another clean out on that side. But either way, I ran it because it's a good practice. Okay, so this is a toilet. This is a 3x2Y, 2Y, down on its back, 45, 2-inch Y. Now, a lot of other codes let you send a vent out this way and all that. UPC really doesn't like that. So, you come off the branch, that's always usually the vent. From here to there is the trap arm. Now... This is serving as the trap arm from here to here. As long as we're within five feet of this, which is now considered the vent, we're good, which we are. Then this continues on as a wet vent. Got a 90 on there, a sweep, another sweep, it goes up, and that's gonna go to the lavatory. And then we'll probably come up, trap arm over, and come out for the lavatory right there. Well, that's a typical, well, I wouldn't say it's a typical wet vent, but Kinda. I usually like to be a little bit farther back, 
but I didn't feel like digging. So that'll work just as fine. And obviously that's a shower. And it's holding water right now. That's all filled up. There's a lot of air trapped in here. But that's okay. Because if it holds air, it'll probably hold what? Water. Okay. That's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about plumbing or plumbing, <laughs> let me know. I am not an engineer. I am not an electrician. I am a plumber. Although a plumber can do value engineering in terms of when someone says, hey, how many fixture units does it take to uh, for the water piping? Or how many fixture units is it for, not fixture units, how many uh, BTUs do I need for gas piping? We are allowed to do that. And to prove that we can, and it's accepted by the city and states right here, we have plans that went through San Luis Obispo. Here I am. There's my license number, and those are the tables that were used to figure out what the size of the water piping and what size gas piping we need. So you don't need an engineer for everything. You can just get your plumber to do that. That's a little trick. That's a little secret. Shh. I've even had architects call me and uh, size propane tanks. Well. Not the tank itself. You usually go with a 500 gallon tank or a thousand. Depends where you are. California not so hip on that. They like natural gas. But if you're out on a ranch somewhere, you're gonna have to put, you know, propane tank. But anyway, propane's different because you got a uh, a tank, a regulator, first stage regulator, which is high pressure, goes under the ground, and it goes to a second stage regulator and drops it down, and then it goes into the house, low pressure and low pressure in the house is usually six to seven inches of water column and water column can relate to psi half inch psi is basically 15 inches of water column so six to seven is like a quarter psi that's what's actually in your house coming from the street it's about five three to five pounds it depends where you are and obviously cities a little bit more Depends on the demand. So that's it for the day. We're gonna wrap this up. And the kids are going. They're going off to San Francisco. They're going to San Francisco this weekend. So thanks for joining us on Mega Plumbing Services and we will see you later. Mm -hmm.